Hey everyone, uh, I need you to uh, think out of the box uh, relative to this piece. Uh, try to suspend uh, all the indoctrination that uh, we've received from the Fed government and from uh, the corporate media and some other institutions in general. Uh, a little uh, background before I get to the title. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, if you recall, and, and maybe you were unaware of this, but go back to uh, 2008 uh, and the uh, economic crisis. The uh, Fed government in between the time that the TARP uh, program, the TARP funds, first uh, failed to pass Congress, and then later, not too much later, uh, Congress passed TARP. Uh, in between that time, the, the uh, Fed Reserve made trillions of dollars available to uh, these mega banks that were in trouble that, you know, by, uh, by all rights, according to uh, free market capitalism, uh, should have gone under and been replaced by businesses that could be run uh, efficiently and uh, without fraud, etc. Anyway, trillions were made available to these banks at 0.25% uh, interest. Wouldn't you like to get a loan for 0.25% interest? That would be nice. And then, of course, we had the TARP bailouts. That wasn't trillions of dollars. Uh, it was 700 and some billion dollars. Uh, so what I'm proposing here is that uh, each one of us could own a small business if, and obviously it's a big if, if the Fed Reserve would make trillions, but actually fewer trillions than they made available to the banks, available to us, the common people. Uh, I hope that most of you realize by now that the uh, Fed government, whether Republicans or Democrats are in power, that doesn't matter at all. The Fed government works for uh, mega banks, uh, mega insurance companies, and other mega corporations, uh, especially the multinational corporations. Uh, the highest levels of the Fed government, they, they don't work for you and me common people. But if they were to, if the Fed would make these trillions of dollars available to us uh, at 0.25% interest, each one of us could have his or her own small business. There are thousands and thousands of different businesses that single individuals could start up if they had a few bucks. Uh, let, let's take an example here. Let's just say that a uh, 100 million heads of household households uh, would want to participate in this program. Now, that's just a guess on my part. There are somewhere around 330 million people in this country. But, of course, a large number of them are children. This, this doesn't apply to them. We're only talking about adults here. And uh, some adults may not want to participate. Because, you know, having a small business is no easy task. Uh, I know, because I've started two or three of them over the span of my lifetime, and uh, each one of those lasted 
no more than a year or two for various reasons. But anyway, let's just take a, a wild guess here and say a hundred million adults would want to participate in this program. And let's say that the, uh, the largest amount that would be loaned to them at 0.25% interest would be $25,000. Now, you know, that's nothing to a lot of people, but that's a fair amount of money to start a very small business. Uh, we'll double that in just a minute, but let's say it's 25000 each. If you multiply $25,000 times 100 million people, you get $2.5 trillion. Now, where would this money come from? Well, the Fed conjured up uh, one source said $13.1 trillion for several mega banks uh, to get them out of trouble back in 2008 and 09. Uh, that wasn't tax money. No, no, no. The, the Fed Reserve can get money any time it wants to. It just types up digits on its computer. Now, I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's what it does. Uh, sometimes it buys bonds. In other words, a, a, a portion of our government, supposedly they're a portion of our government, even though they're privately owned, uh, they buy bonds, which means they loan money to our government. So supposedly a part of our government is loaning money to our government. <laughs> well, they could loan that money to us if they worked for us instead of mega corporations, especially the mega banks. But it would take some pressure to get them to do that. Now, let's say uh, let's say that uh, instead of twenty five thousand, we made the the uh, top loan amount. $50,000 to a, a single individual. Well, that means if everyone got that amount, 100 million adults, that means that the total would be $5 trillion to 100 million people. Now, remember, they loaned $13.1 trillion according to one source, to several banks. Uh, I don't think that number amounted to a dozen banks. So I think this is a really good idea. I think it would stimulate the economy uh, because to start a business, you have to spend money. Believe me, you have to spend money. So that's my suggestion. Uh, how to bring it about is a is a different issue. I mean, that would take a lot of pressure, a lot of organization. I don't have time to get into that now. So that's about it. Uh, think about it. Maybe I can come up with a video on uh, how we could pressure politicians into doing that. Because you, you can't pressure them much uh, within the system. The political system in this country is a rigged game. Uh, surely people understand that by now. Anyway, thanks for dropping in. And uh, let me figure out how to get out of here. It's been a while. Okay, take care. Be well.